Well, we are at the LCS kickoff event, or the season kickoff event. I forget what it's called. Anyway, this coverage is brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Jensen to talk about his demoralizing loss for Team Boomer. Do you feel like this reveals your age? Uh, I guess so. I mean, the narrative is that if you're old, you suck, and we fucking lost, so I guess, I guess we're shit. Um, no, but... Um, Honestly, I felt like we had it. We just threw the game two, and then uh, game three, I don't really know what happened. Uh, bad game, I guess. I didn't play too well, but uh, I thought we had it, but but we, we threw a bit. Are you are you, are you you offering a hoodie to him? Are you, no, you have a hoodie, Jensen. Congratulations. You get to wear this hoodie. We get to we, uh, continue? Yes. No, we're continuing. This is all going in. You, you putting on the clothing is product placement. Yes, just so you're not cold out here in the rain. Okay, so it's a very tough loss for you, I know. Uh, do you think that this is a statement that reaches out to the other boomers in the LCS, like Double F, Bjergsen, etc.? Yes, I'm afraid our time has come, yeah. and we should all retire okay. and move on with our lives. All right. Do you know what you're going to do next? Um, I don't know. Coach, maybe that seems to be the trend for some people. Yes. If if I don't get to become a coach, I actually don't know what I would do. So All right. hopefully that'll work out. Seems like you need some more time to think about it. All right. Uh, so let's get into the start of the season. One, how are you feeling about the start of the season from the game perspective, the changes that they've made, et cetera? I know they haven't made like a ton, but what do you think of them? Um... For me, at least, as a mid laner, there wasn't really too many changes. Nothing has really changed for me, really. I think the meta is going to be very, very similar to how it was at Worlds, with a few tweaks, you know, like you'll see Syndra come back. Um, but other than that, from a mid lane perspective, very boring. Not much has changed. Game is practically the same, with some new items. Um, yeah, I would have liked to see a few more changes, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. So overall, it sounds like you're not impressed with the changes in the uh, to the preseason stuff. Not impressed, but yeah, I don't really know what I expected. Honestly, I do like the whole like bigger honey cones and bigger blast plants type of thing that happens. But yeah, that there, there wasn't really too many changes. Um, but at the same time, when they did all the like item reworks and changed the icons of everything, I hated it. So maybe I just like to complain at the same time. Yeah. Well, I, I've worked with pro players for a long time, so I can definitely agree with the idea that pro players like to complain. Yeah. Uh, speaking of complaining, what do you think of the new LCS start times? How, actually, how are they from a pro player perspective? You're the first pro player I've asked this question to. Um, I mean, <sighs> ooh. Because I assume Thursday, Friday doesn't matter. Because, yeah. like, you, you, or maybe it's even better because th maybe you'll have like a day off on a weekend. You can hang out with a friend or something like that. So I assume that's okay. But yeah. from the player, pro player perspective, you guys have to get here kind of early now, right? Yeah. But I think for us, it's only one hour earlier, okay. if I remember correctly. I think the start time used to be at one, right? And now it's at 12. So that's not too big of a difference. Um, and from, actually, I can't talk about this because I don't know if the schedule is public yet. But um, it is. It is. Okay. Yeah. So like they put the the big name matches at the beginning. Is that what you were gonna say? Yes. I was gonna say I'm not at the beginning yeah. ever really, so it doesn't affect me at all. Um, but I think the disappointing part is just that the the starting time is early, like you said. I think if they're gonna do weekday, yeah. I would hope they would like start the games at I don't know like 4 or 5 p.m. so people at least can get home from work and watch it. Because yeah. yeah, I do have a lot of concerns about the viewership as well. That like who really has time to watch it when it starts at 1 p.m. on a weekday when everyone's working, right? So I share the same concerns as a lot of the community. Um, but I'm hoping that if the viewership is bad, that like maybe they'll try to change it to a later time because we can't revert, right? We can't go back to the weekends because that's taken by Valorant now. So I don't know. I have my concerns, but we'll just have to see what happens, right? All right. So let's talk less about the macro stuff for the ecosystem, more about you. Dignitas. Okay. So Dignitas was 
a bit of a, a meme team for a bit, and it seems like you are now turning them into potentially a dream team. So what happened in the offseason that led you to Dignitas? Was there a point in time where you were like skeptical about it? You know, what, what went on behind the scenes? What went on behind the scenes? Um, to be honest, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, there was a lot of back and forth with Cloud9, but ultimately it didn't really work out. Not going to go into the specifics, but I had a really great time there, to be honest. Um, and then this was just the next best opportunity that came to me. Um, and I worked with Centaurin before, I like playing with Centaurin, so this just seemed like a great opportunity for me. And uh, honestly, going into being an underdog is, is going to be fun, I think. So I'm really looking forward to it. Was there any part of you that considered skipping spring again? Because a lot of people thought that might happen, right? It was like, oh, you know, as Jensen, as, as people started to realize that some of the top teams were filling up, people thought, you know, you might not play for a team like Dig or something. And so they're like, oh, man, wouldn't it be funny if Jensen skipped spring again? Um, of course I was considering it, but I think this roster is more than capable of winning LCS. So I went for it, but if the roster was not going to be good or not, you know, I thought there was no hope or it was, hope, it was hopeless, then I would have definitely considered it. But at the same time, I think skipping spring split is very risky because you have to kind of get lucky that a team will implode or not be happy or content with their mid laner, right? So it's a huge risk and I would prefer to avoid it unless I knew for sure that like I would have a starting spot somewhere for summer, then it's not an idea I would entertain again, yeah. Okay, so when you joined C9 last year, there was a really fun like grudge match stuff against Team Liquid. You were you had this like sort of rivalry with them. Yeah. Are you gonna have that with C9 now? With now that you're on Dig? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it felt more personal with Liquid okay. because I felt treated unfairly, and you know, just the whole thing didn't seem right to me. Um, I have no grudges with C9. You know, I like the players there and everything. So. Um, no, not really. But um, I'm happy how the last year turned out. That's, yeah. Well, the C9 players were on the cast, and they were trying to curse you during the games. I don't know if you know that. Uh, they kept trying to say, like, oh, yeah, Jensen's looking really good intentionally to try to make you fail. So I don't know if that changes your opinion on any of them now that you've learned that they were directly trying to undermine you during this match. I would have to hear what they said, but um, I, I, I don't think it changes my opinion now. <laughs> Very good. Well, I don't want to keep you for too long, but is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, hmm. I mean, thank you guys for supporting me. It's been a very, very long time for some of you at least. And um, yeah, I mean, I hope um, you guys will continue supporting me on my new journey here in Dignitas. And yeah, see you guys. Uh, when the split starts. Very good. Thank you so much, Jensen, for the interview. Looking forward to seeing you when the LCS officially kicks off in just a couple weeks. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel after the holiday break. I'm back here at the LCS. We're covering all sorts of cool stuff and getting hyped for this year. So please uh, be sure to check it all out, subscribe to this channel, and then shout out to Alienware for sponsoring so much of what we do here. Wouldn't be able to cover this year without them. So thank you so much to Alienware. You can check them out at the link in the description below and uh, purchasing something from them helps us out here.